Lord. Hi. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Oh, man. I just uh, got a little something in the mail. Laura. and this discovery set is going to be available on the 11th so in just five days you get 0.10 ounces in each vial they look like this and I've already like sprayed them and I just sprayed them on a paper towel but I have them placed the way that they are placed in the bottle I'm sorry in the container and then the way that they're described on the back. They have all the writing on the back. So I'm gonna go through them with you and let you know what I think. So the first one that I ever saw on the Sephora website was Pear Jam. And I thought that must smell really, really good. And I and I want it. <laughs> I figured I felt that way before ever smelling it based off the note. And so I'm going to read the notes to you. Pear Jam, these are all EDPs, by the way. Pear Jam, top notes are Koji Pear, Bergamot Au Pur, or Pur, sorry, and Black Current. Middle notes are Rose Water, Upcycled or, or Pur, Osmanthus, or Pur. Can someone tell me what or Pur means? Let me look it up. May not be one of those people who has Google right in front of them and doesn't use it. There we go. Oh, pure gold. Okay. Unlocking the potential of iconic natural raw materials in perfumery. So um, it's an exceptional collection of that particular um, note. So that's what it means. Sambach Imperial is the next middle note. And then the base notes for this fragrance are Ambrette Seed, Patchouli Core, and uh, Akijala Wood, and White Peach. This is my favorite thing in this entire discovery set. And it's now at the base, right? I've sprayed it, I've smelled the top notes, I've smelled the middle notes, I've smelled the transition, all of that. Now it's at those base notes and it is beautiful. It's got the right amount of sweetness. It's not overly sweet smelling. It has subtle floral notes, but it is mostly sweet. I wouldn't call it gourmand, but it's definitely like sweet leaning, fruity leaning. And, um, and it's beautiful. This is a very nicely curated scent. Yeah, I plan to purchase this full size, whatever their largest size, because I could totally see myself wearing this all year. It smells that pretty and mixing it with other things. So pretty. The next fragrance is called Opening Night. And the top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, and cardamom. The middle notes are neroli, rosemary, and verbena. And the base notes are amber, vanilla, vetiver. And um, it's at the base notes now. This smells much better once it settles to me. Um, when we were living in those top notes and those middle notes, I was like, mm, meh. You know, <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know. It's It was the herbal portion of it that I wasn't a fan of. And that was making me feel like it was kind of blah because it was that's what my nose was picking up the rosemary and the cardamom um was kind of like where my nose was kind of like dominating or what was dominating my nose i should say and then now i smell the amber the vanilla and the vetiver like all of them And I didn't smell the grapefruit at all, at any point. 
but this smells pretty now that it has settled and I could see myself purchasing this one um I'm gonna spray it on myself after all of this each one because I have five days to kind of you know I, I can't um, post about it until I can't post my review until the 11th when it launches so I'm gonna give myself a day leading up to that each day try a different scent with the exception of the men's fragrance I'm not wearing that I'll get to that in a second uh, Tay Vanille is the next scent and it is it's very much a sophisticated vanilla scent it has top notes of salt accord cardamom turmeric root and green tea middle notes are narcisse absolute and magnolia flower and then the base notes are orris and vanilla co2 so You definitely smell the vanilla now that everything has settled down, and I would hope so, considering that the name of, you know, the name of the fragrance. I think that this smells less like vanilla ice cream, like a, or like a vanilla baked good, the way that a lot of vanilla fragrances smell, and it smells more like the vanilla plant. Yeah. Look at my filter. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, that's what I get from it. It's cool. It's not, I have to run out and get this. But, you know, it's it's alright. It's not something that, I want to smell it on my body. Before I say for sure that like, oh my gosh, this is incredible, whatever. But, I've never smelled a vanilla fragrance like that. Hey, Brian. Next up is Coco Fleur. I really like this one. <laughs> yeah, I do. It smells so pretty. This one has top notes of bergamot, pink pepper, CO2. Uh, and then the middle notes are ylang organic and orange flower. Y'all know I love an orange flower. My followers that follow me, y'all know I love me some orange flower. Um, then we have the base notes, Amberette, Absolute, Coconut, Milk, and Sandalwood. This is a really pretty scent. And when you're initially smelling it, or, or on first spray for me, I thought to myself, okay, I can see how somebody would probably smell this and say that it smells soapy. But it's actually like coconut meat is what you smell. Or at least what I smelled. I'm going to have to stock skeepers because I haven't seen it yet. Mm. This has a really warm, tropical kind of scent to it. That orange flower is still hanging out. That's something that my nose looks for, though. And the coconut milk and the um, amber are what I smell most at this point now that it's settled but this is something I would buy as well I really like this one La Forte is the men's fragrance and this one is very woody so I'm gonna read those notes to you bergamot is the top note it's the only top note and then we have I don't know if this is you pronounce the whole thing like it's I S O E super and I've never, like, let me look that up. Because I don't know what that is. ESO or ISO. Let's have a look. Here it is. Okay. So it's wood, woody, leathery, spicy, ambery, powdery. <laughs> it's a lot of ease. <sighs> okay but that's the middle note and then there's also patchouli heart healing wood cashmere and moss 
I definitely smelled the moss in the middle note and then the other woods started to creep in. It finishes or the base notes are sandalwood, cedarwood and amber extreme. Now that it has settled, I still feel like it's a very woody scent. Um, I'm not getting a lot of leather. It almost smells aquatic. And I don't like it. I just feel like it smells like every, you know, like all those other woody aquatic. Uh, it doesn't smell unique. And that's why I don't like it. It's not that it smells bad. If you smelled a man wearing this, you would probably think he smelled good. But to me, it's not a special scent. It's like a boring scent. And then the last one is Rose Parade. And the top notes on this are Neroli, Rose Essential, and Rose Ultimate. And then middle notes are Ylang Organic and base note is amber tonic and vanilla bean. So when I first sprayed this, I smelled both of the, hi Gigi, I smelled both of the rose, rose uh, notes right away. And then as it began to settle, I smelled the ylang and now that it has settled down, it smells really pretty. It smells like rose and vanilla. <laughs> so I don't smell the amber but I could attribute the warmth per perhaps to the amber tonic. Mm. It smells very pretty, but it doesn't smell like something, again, that I would feel is uniquely nette and that I would want to purchase. So those are my initial like first impressions of this discovery set. I will be trying out each fragrance with the exception again of the men's fragrance. Um, every day. I'll probably have my husband try the men's fragrance and then smell it on him and see what I think there. And then I will post my thorough review um, on Sephora's website on the 11th. I will keep y'all updated on when this discovery set drops so that you can grab it for yourself if you would like to. And that is going to do it for this very quick IG live.